All right, our next video is number four and five on your review. You're just solving by graphing. This will also be a level one test question. So my first quadratic is 5x squared plus 8x minus 13. So I'm going to go ahead and type that into the y equals on my calculator. And I'm going to hit graph. Looks like I can see both roots on my graph. So I'm going to use the um, trace feature. So I'm going to hit second trace. And option number two, which is zero, because we're finding the zeros of the function. Now I need to use my left and right arrows only. And here my left down starts a little bit above the axis, hit enter. Go a little bit below the axis, hit enter, and then a third time step. And there's my root at negative 2.6. <coughs> All right, so now let's find the other x-intercept. So I'll trace again, second trace, number two. And I use my left and right arrows again. All right, so I want my cursor a little bit below. Hit enter. Go a little above. Enter a third time. And this roots at 1. Now, those are both rational numbers. One's a whole number. And negative 2.6 is a terminating decimal. So, yes, this quadratic is factorable or able to be factored. Number 5, let's type this guy into my calculator now. So I have 2x squared plus 4x minus 9. <clears throat> Alright, and let's trace these roots. Second trace again, number 2. And this cursor goes to the left bound is a little bit above the axis. And we go to use our arrow to be a little bit below. Hit enter a third time. And I'm going to round, it says round to the nearest hundredth, so two decimals, negative 3.35. And that was rounded, remember. And then one more here. Do that again, second trace, number two. And this time our left down is a little bit below the axis. So enter, go above, and 1.35. But again, we rounded both of those numbers. And since those were both rounded, they don't look terminating. They look pretty irrational to me. This is not able to be factored. All right, that's it for this video. Video.